Hey guys, and welcome to Nicorette. Today we're going to go over this really easy, simple pattern for basic beginners on how to make this really cute crocheted scrubby. And at the very end, before the credits, we're going to show a nice little pattern for it as well, so if you need a, an actual pattern of reference to, you can either pause there or you can go down in the description and find our printable pattern on Ravelry right there. Alright, let's get started. For this pattern, you will need very little worsted weight cotton yarn. I'm actually using some yarn that I got off of the yarn mill ends in a basket at AC Moore, but I'm pretty sure this looks exactly like lilies and cream, so I'm assuming that this is from a dye lot of lilies and cream. So that's basically what I'm using right now. Also, you will need a darning needle to sew in all your ends. And you're also going to need a size J or 6mm crochet hook, but you're using a Susan Bates crochet hook. Also, basic scissors. Let's get started! To begin, you're going to want to make a magic circle, or you can chain 6 and connect your last chain to your first chain. You just basically need to make a loop, and if you have any questions on that, we have a video on how to make all the different loop methods. And I will link that down in the description. So you'll see here that I chained two, and now I'm going to just double crochet inside of the loop here, and I'm going to do that 12 times. Now that you have your 12 double crochets, you'll notice that it's a little open and a little loose. If you're using the chaining method and you only chain six, it will not be this open. But since I'm using the magical ring method, I'm just gonna pull my little hole, my little tail, and pull my hole closed as taut as I can get it. And try not to pull too hard because cotton will sometimes be mean and just break. <laughs> also, I'm using the um, yarn mill ends, so those especially will break. So now that you've pulled your hole closed as taut as you can get it without tearing your, your yarn there. You're going to take your tail and get it out of the way. Eventually you will just sew your tail in to all those stitches again on the way to the back. Okay, so now that you've closed your hole, you can now go back into the very first double crochet that you double crocheted and you can place two double crochets within that one. So here we're just gonna put one and then I'll wrap that way. And a lot of people will try to connect to the beginning. I don't see the point. These are just quick little facial scrubbies that you won't be able to really see the intricate stitching on it anyway, as intricate as it is. And when you sew in, it'll be fine. There's a little tiny hole, but not any more than anywhere else in the pattern. And you're gonna wanna continue putting two double crochets in every single one until you get back to the beginning and you'll have 24 stitches. So I'll see you there. So now that you have finished your two double crochets on every single one, you should have 24 stitches on your piece right here, all the way along here. And next up, we're going to want to take our yarn and we're going to, if this is the size that you want your scrubby, then I would say stop here and slip stitch one away from where you are. So I would skip that stitch and slip stitch into the next one because I think that makes a smoother edge. But these ones are a little bit larger and we're going to just double crochet one into this one and then we're going to two double crochet into the next and we're going to repeat that repetition all the way until we've reached the end and when we're done with that we're going to slip stitch not this one, but the next one away. And at the end of this one, you should have 36 stitches on your piece here. And all that we're doing is we're increasing all the way around. So if you want a larger circle than this, double crochet two, and then increase on the third on the next round. Double crochet three, increase on the fourth, and continue until it's the width that you want it. I personally just like these little three inch uh, wide little Tawashis for facial scrubbies, but you could turn this into a lot of different things. So that's what I've been doing. And I'll see you when this is all done. Now that we have gotten it to the size that we want it to be, we're going to skip this next one and we're going to slip stitch into our second from that stitch. And I like to do a little chain and then I pull everything through it. Pull it nice and tight and then I will put that inside of the backing here and then your scrubby is all done. I like to do it through the entire row and then try not to pull it too tightly and it makes it so that it's not lost or gets taut or is weird shaped at all. 
and it keeps your tail from unraveling, which I really like. And once you're done with your slip stitching and all your tails are put away, you are all done with this really cute little facial scrubby. If you like this video, be sure to be on the lookout for our next video, which we're going to be going over how to make this awesome epic little loofah here. It's actually a surprisingly simple pattern and it comes with this nice little chain here. So be sure to be on the lookout for this awesome giant loofah pattern, which you can use in shower poofs and loofahs and I'm sure you could do all kinds of different things with it. If you'd like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. It really does help out our channel. Until next time, guys.